Hey everyone, it's Lini. Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we are reacting to a video from Real Life Lore. And this video is called How the Universe is Way Bigger Than You Think. Make sure to go show them some love. Without their video, mine would not be possible. And if you like this video, you can go ahead and give it a like. Let's get right into it. This is Earth. You live here on this planet somewhere, and everything that yes. you've ever known is located yes, right do. here. But just how small exactly is Earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe? Mm -hmm. Let's start by Let's zooming see. out to where we can see our nearest cosmic neighbor, the moon. the moon. You may think that the moon is very close to Earth since it dominates our night skies. But in reality, the moon isn't this close to our planet. It's actually about this far away. Okay. 384,000. 1,400 kilometers away from you right now on average. You can fit 30 entire miles. Earths in between this distance. And if you oh. somehow were able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would take you about 160 days to drive the entire well, distance. Dang. Okay. Despite this incredible distance, however, 12 humans there? have actually set foot here, representing the furthest away that any individual human has ever been away from the Earth. It's and one of humanity's so greatest achievements. This is what the Earth would look like from there if you were standing there with them. And if you wanted to communicate with somebody back at home, it would take a message about two and a half like seconds the moon to travel from between Earth. you and them, since that's how fast the speed of light can travel at. This is a photo that was taken on Mars, and that tiny dot that you see there is Earth as seen from the Martian surface. On average, Mars wow. is an incredible 225 million kilometers away from Earth, but that distance can be as high as 401 million oh, kilometers. Okay. That means that whenever humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet, that person will be 986 times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon, on the moon. were. In addition, the time delay for sending a message from Mars back to Earth isn't just two and a half seconds, it's actually more like 20 minutes each direction. Oh. Which would render instant communication in the event of an emergency impossible. Yeah. When we zoom out, twenty minute further delay. Away, can we you can imagine find the Voyager One space probe, which is the furthest away man-made object from Earth? It mm. is currently located 138 AUs from the Earth. Astronomical AU unit. Meaning astronomical unit, which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Yes. Which means that Voyager One is 138 times further away from us than the Sun is. At some wow. point on its long voyage, Voyager One turned its camera around and took this photograph. It may not look like much at first, but in my opinion, this is the greatest single photograph ever taken is in all of human Earth? history. This tiny, pale blue dot is Earth, wow. and I don't think that anybody has ever said something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he said, If you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. We're On a it, little dot. everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, lived out their lives. The wow. aggregate of all our joys and sufferings. Mm. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. And that one little dot. Every hunter and every forager. Every hero and coward. Every creator and destroyer of civilizations. Mm. Every king and every peasant. Every young couple in love. Every hopeful child. Oh. Every mother and every father, every inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, human race, man. every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on, on a dot. boat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Voyager 1 is currently traveling at 17 kilometers every single second, but wow. even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. Once we go beyond the solar system, we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which wow. is the distance okay. that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. The star Proxima Centauri here is the trillion. closest other star to us other than our sun, but it's still 4.24 light years away from us. To put that into perspective, if it was heading in the right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach it. In other words, way if beyond you drove our lifetime. 100 kilometers an hour like in our previous example to the moon, it would take over 6 times longer than the entire age of the universe is just to finally get there. My mind and it is wouldn't blown. even exist still when you arrived. <laughs> when we zoom out even further, we can see the entire Milky Way galaxy inside of which so Earth pretty. is located right here. 
This yellow dot is the furthest extent of humanity's radio broadcasts throughout history, which means mm. that any possible aliens who live outside of this range would are never totally receive it. unaware of humanity's presence. Imagine. It's complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire galaxy spans over 100,000 light years from end to end. There are over 100 one billion galaxy. stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. But you have never seen the full glory of the galaxy at night, because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region right here. But even this massive galaxy is nothing compared to the rest the of what's out there, it's so zooming pretty. out even further and we Holy arrive at the local group of moly. galaxies, a collection of 54 different galaxies that is about 10 million light years across. But zooming out even further and we can see the Virgo supercluster, of which the local group here is just a tiny segment of. There are at least 100 other groups of galaxies speck. just like our own I am literal microscopic here, and the dust. distance from one side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million light years. But even the massive Virgo oh supercluster is nothing goodness. but a quiet and tiny lobe of the great Laniakea supercluster, an enormous structure that is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. 100,000 other one galaxies. The distance from is 520 million light years. But from even oh my there, gosh. we can zoom out even all more. the way to the entire universe. This is insane. Universe there definitely has to be Titanic other life Lanyakea out there. There's no way. Is just a tiny and insignificant part of everything. This is the observable universe, and it contains everything that we know of. It is home to at least two trillion different and individual galaxies, which together contain more stars than there are grains of sand on the entire Goodness Earth. Gracious. The distance from Earth to any side of the observable universe is 46.5 billion light years, which means that the entire width is 93 billion light years across. What's perhaps I, I'm even at a more interesting, of however, is what actually lies beyond the observable universe. Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly ever oh my imagine. Gosh. We simply That's don't know what else is out there because the light from these incredibly distant places has not yet it's had enough far. time in the universe's history reach to reach us yet back on Earth. And the light from some places may never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, mm. that means that the light from these places will never, in an infinite amount of time, reach, reach Earth. Wow. Meaning that even if humanity is eternal and exists forever, forever. there will still Don't. be an unknown number of places in the universe that we will never know about or ever see. So, it is very likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what we can currently see of the entire universe. According to the theory of cosmic inflation that was proposed mm. by Dr. Alan Guth, if it is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 37th of a second after the Big Bang, and with the assumption that the size of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times My the speed hurts. of light, then this would seem to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe is 150 sextillion times larger than the and observable it, universe. That number for reference looks like this, with this many zeros. Let this number so sink many in zeros. for just a moment. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see, was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing that in reality the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. Good Imagine a light Lord. bulb in the center of Pluto, but we inside the light bulb were totally unaware that Pluto existed outside of it, and that's a similar situation to this. We are all so unbelievably small, but yeah. you shouldn't worry, because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover together. There is so much out there. That was absolutely mind-blowing. I feel like a teeny tiny microscopic speck in this world, in this universe. I, oh my gosh, I really, I can't wrap my mind around it. Thank you to Real Life Lore for that video. Make sure to go show them some love. And if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.